people, it's me again, Adorkable Bookworm, and today we're going to be talking about book to movie adaptations. Now, one of my favorite books, The Fallen series by Lauren Kate, is supposed to be becoming a film. Now, they've been saying this for about two years. Recently, when I was stalking their IMDb page for the thousandth time, I noticed that it says it's coming out September 2016. Now, I'm still wondering where my trailer is, but I'm not going to be like the other haters and start blaming Lauren Kate. She's just the author of the book. She didn't make the movie. So this is my little shout out to you guys hating on Lauren Kate. Stop being mean, okay? I'm just as angry as you are. It's been about two years. I want my trailer, but I think if we remain patient, they will inform us of what's happening with the film. But since it says it's coming out September of this year, I'm getting a little excited again. Got me thinking about the other books that I would love to be made into movies. So that's what we're talking about today. Now you can see these books are all behind me. I'll give you a short description of the book. I'll pick three actors for three of the main characters that I think should play the role. Now this is where I'm gonna tell you guys not to be mean to me. You may have different views of who you think should play these characters and that's fine. So Let's get started. The first book we're talking about is Ebenezer by Brody Ashton. This book was one of the first books that got me into reading and I would love to see it be made into a movie because I think it would be fantastic. And it's a unique story that I think a lot of people would enjoy. So in this book, they talk about a world between the living and the dead, which is the Evernese, where these beings called the Everliving feed on forfeits on their emotions and stuff and their soul. It's been a few years since I've read it, but basically it. So this girl, Nikki Beckett, has been missing for about six months. She's returned to the living, but she's on a clock. She's going to leave again. So she's using this time to say goodbye to her family and her boyfriend. It's, it's a really interesting story and it dips into some Greek mythology and I highly suggest it. And the person I always kind of envisioned playing Nikki Beckett would be Nina Dobrev. I love Nina Dobrev, but I don't know. I could just see her being Nikki. <laughs> the next character I've chosen is Cole. Now, Cole is the ever-living that took Nikki down to the Everneath to begin with. And I think Alex Pettifer would be the perfect choice for this role. And the last character I've chosen would be Jack. Nikki's boyfriend. Jack is very protective and he just wants to be there for Nikki. But the actor I've chosen who I think would play Jack very well would be Colton Haynes. Now the next book we're going to be talking about is Dreaming Anastasia. <laughs> now anyone who knows me knows that I'm obsessed with the Romanovs and with the story of Anastasia and even the animated Anastasia film that came out in 1997. Even though it wasn't historically accurate, it's still one of my favorite movies and I recently made my boyfriend watch it. So I actually kind of know this author. <laughs> Joy Preble. I've been to a few of her book signings. The first time I met Joy, I had never really heard of her and I actually met her when I went to someone else's book signing because she was there as well. My mom went to the book signing with me and we were both like, was this about Anastasia? Like Anastasia Romanov? So after it was done, I talked to Joy. It was definitely about the Romanovs and I bought the first book, she signed it for me and then I bought the second and third copies and also got those signed. Dreaming Anastasia is basically about this girl, Anne Michelson. Anne Michelson's just a regular girl, but this guy starts stalking Anne and she sees him at the theater, doesn't know what to do. But it turns out Anne Michelson is the key to saving Anastasia Romanoff. Now the world thinks Anastasia has died, but she hasn't. She's really been with Baba Yaga and the boy who's been following Anne around, his name is Ethan, and he needs Anne's help to protect and save Anastasia. It's a really interesting story. I love how Joy used the Baba Yaga folklore. I just love this book so much and I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Now, who I think would play a good Anne is Danielle Campbell. Now I know I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate for this one, but I think a good actor who could play Ethan would be Jared Padalecki. I'm talking young Jared. This is just what I envisioned when I read this book. Jared could play a really good Ethan if he had a little bit of a Russian accent because Ethan is Russian. Now the third character I've chosen is Tess, Anne's best friend. I think Lucy Fry 
would be a perfect choice. Tess is very outgoing. She doesn't give two shits. Tess is just like, yo, this is me. And the third book that I would love to be turned into a movie is Hush Hush by Becca Fitzpatrick. Now it all starts when the main character, Nora, has to become lab partners with this weird guy, Patch. Now Patch seems to be everywhere Nora is and he's really starting to freak her out and annoy her. Nora starts to get really curious. She wants to know who Patch is, what does he want, and why is he everywhere all the time. This is a brilliant story and if I tell you any more, it's gonna give it away, so read the freaking book. Now the first character is obviously gonna be Nora. In my opinion, I think Maya Mitchell would be a brilliant choice. She's got that spunk and attitude. The next character I've chosen is obviously gonna be Patch. And I think Chris Wood could play a really good Patch. He's got that kind of creepy vibe, but still really cute at the same time, and he'd be an excellent choice. Now, the final character I've chosen is V, Nora's best friend. And I think Indiana Evans would be a fantastic V. She's one of my favorite actresses, and I think she could totally pull it off. Well, that's all the books that I've got to talk about today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. You can follow me on all my social medias down in the link below. If you think another actor or actress was good for one of these parts, feel free to comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!